Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead, and it's mine and Howie's 26th wedding anniversary today. And here's a nice rack of ribs um, from the last pig we butchered. Let's get these uh, rubbed up and vacuum sealed because it's only lunchtime right now. So I want to give these a good, I don't know, two, three hour marinade in the rub and sugar. All right, so let's get on that. Okay, the first part of our dinner is ribs. And I asked Howie to take some ribs out of the freezer and these our ribs where the bacon has not been trimmed off so I'm just gonna grab this silver skin here because the last time I didn't take it off and the ribs didn't cut apart nicely as I would have liked or whatever but let's just take this okay off. so in this bowl I have um, a quarter cup of sugar, a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne. And I'm just going to mix this all up. But ideally, you'd want to let this marinade I don't know, 12 hours. That's more like it. I forgot the brown sugar last time and had to add it in after I took it out of the vacuum seal, which is not ideal because, you know, you want all the seasonings and the spices to work together. The bacon has not been trimmed off of this rib. Look at how thick the meat is on that rib. Oh, I'm showing you the wrong side. Look at the thickness of that meat. So... Yeah, happy anniversary, baby. He brought he brought the two last two packages of ribs out of the freezer and said, which one do you want? And I said, well, that one. And he goes, well, that's puny. <laughs> I said, then why did you bring it if that's not the one you wanted for dinner? Okay. Okay, that's better. As somebody pointed out last time, I had spices around the seal which doesn't matter if you're only sealing it overnight but it would matter if you're going to be putting it in your freezer but just the same we're going to turn back the cuff i don't know if the seal's going to hold some of these bones look pretty sharp but they seem i'm just going to take the rest of these spices in my hand sugar and spice and everything nice from my hubby's dinner if um, you have the time um, ideally I would have done this last night and let it marinate in the fridge overnight fingers crossed that no bones poke through the plastic and we get a good seal and you can see it's pulling the juice yeah, baby. Now, this is going to go in the fridge for about four or five hours. Overnight would be better. Okay, so this is my new wave. It used to have a, a thing you could lean, but I just moved the lid right out of the way. And here are our ribs that have been vacuum sealed for about four hours in the sugars and spices and we are just going to put this on the new wave put the lid down and I like to do things in um, 15 minute increments so I'm just going to put cook time 15 and start
and then I'll come back and check and see if it needs to be flipped and then cook some more. Okay, the timer has gone off. I'm sorry about the crappy angle, folks, but oh my God, I wish you could smell this. Now that was only on for 15 minutes and I'm not going to flip it because the other side is just the skin side so or the back of the ribs. So I'm just going to put this on for another 15 minutes and then I'm going to start slicking it with some barbecue sauce. Not that it needs it. Now I meant to tell you to set the uh, new wave oven at 275 and do it in your 15 minute increments. So now I've cooked this three times and I'm this says ketchup but it's actually my homestead ketchup with kick and uh, I'm just going to put a liberal coat on this because it is ketchup with you know spices it's almost a barbecue sauce look at that now I'm going to put this back on for at 275 for 10 minutes let it rest 10 minutes let it rest 10 minutes let it rest just to get that nice caramelization of the sauce so here is our ribs they look like they've been in a smoker, eh, dear? Mm -hmm. um, I cooked them on the new wave, like I did the last time. Now, you might want to flip it over because there's a whole section of backbone there. But this is the one you didn't take the bacon off of. You know what these ribs remind me of? Oh my goodness. Is that mine? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I can't eat that whole thing. You're going to have to cut it down a bit for him. It's Howie's contribution to our anniversary dinner um, by our freshly made at our local grocery store. We have broccoli salad, pasta salad, and potato salad. And I made a pie. Did you buy ice cream? I did. Awesome. Now start me with the other one. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, okay. Oh, Gracie, are you going to get a bone? You hear her go, mm -hmm. you may have to cut some of the meat off of it. It's beautifully cooked. We are very careful with pork and chicken and that. Beef, it could be mooing, we wouldn't care. No. Now they didn't do the whole 12 hours in the fridge in the vacuum seal pack, but they did do about four hours. Mm. Awesome. Thank you, dear. Happy anniversary. And to you too. Thank you. No, there's going to be no more footage from here on out. It is my anniversary after all. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, after this, there's going to be a pie video. Take care. God bless. <laughs>